typical small town. A lot like it is right now, except it is slightly larger. High school, 12 grades were in one building. Our class, for example, was 30 people. In 1953, we had a new coach and uh, several players were back from the year before, but we were kind of a typical dangerous Milan team, which means we probably won the county tournament. And uh, that, that was the big thing to do in those days. A two point lead for Muncie here with seven minutes left in the ball game. As Cutter goes down, feeds out to White, White holds, and he feeds off to Kraft. Kraft out, being guarded. We had a huddle with a 13 or 15 seconds or something like that. Uh, and Mr. Wood says, we'll all move over and let get the ball to Bob and let him take him one-on-one. -on -one. And I said, why don't we just go over and stand on the opposite side of the floor? It's a good idea. That's what we did. And that's what we did. And, and we hit the shot. And that, that was the game. of the 20th century, our basketball game was considered the number one athletic story for the century. So it struck home with a lot of people in Indiana because basketball is pretty much the sport at one time it was the sport. I thought. For these guys to go and in 53 to the state finals was just miraculous. But then to go back in 54, we certainly were very, very proud. But to say, let's collect memorabilia and let's uh, bring outside people into the community, that just never, as far as I know, no one ever stepped forward to say, let's, let's do something about this. We had a lady move in to Milan. She married a Milan fella, moved here from Iowa, and she always asked, "Did does the town do anything about that game from 54? And the answer was uh, no. It was just, you know, the basketball. We won the state, but it was a basketball game. She said, well, I think we need to do something. So she started collecting items and asked each of the players if they wouldn't donate some of their personal items from the 54 era. We received jackets after our junior year. That was never done. And I know why it was done. After going to the state finals, I'm sure the powers that be figured we'd never have that happen again. So we'll give those guys jackets. We got jackets next year also. We got a grant to buy the old bank in town, which is where we are presently. There's just so many Milan things that, pictures of teams in the past. We passed cars parked six or seven miles out of town, parked and people were walking into town. Tickets, oh golly, and pamphlets and pictures. The crowd was here and we didn't know but what that's the way they did every state champion. We have a, an array of newspaper articles at that time that uh, you could spend all day just reading those. All right, lift it up, lift it up. Wishard Hospital in Indianapolis called us and said, we're cleaning out our upstairs. We have several things from the movie. You guys want that stuff? And we said, we certainly do. We have the hospital bed where Shooter as jumping on and all the apparatus that goes along with that particular scene. They brought that to us. We have a script from the movie. One thing that I always thought the team gave back to the town was the fact that they all got scholarships. And then when we won, there were opportunities offered to us to go to colleges and at a lower price and so almost all of us went to college. But that thought of 
going to, to college trickled down through the community. And that was suddenly another option for young people. It's just great when people come here and they, they're usually um, amazed that we have so many things. And I have to say, it's, it's a good, good thing for our community. And it brings people into the community and they're very pleased when they leave.